Brad Blair, how was your first golfing experience? Terrible. Terrible. I can only improve. <laughs> I have my morning AG1 here. Never went to Marine Corps boot camp. You will fully understand that statement. Claire's about to go get her some free rocks. Yes. Hey, when well, I'm standing here with Russ in my own bedroom, we're we're uh, putting the receptacles in here for these little thumb screws. All right, this is attempt number two at removing and replacing the USB plugs or the USB outlets on either side of our nightstand. Looking in your eyes, a little shook up at the side of you. It gets me every time. So I'm down in my front compartment here checking all these wire attachments because I found a loose one on my bus bar inside earlier because I had a weird weird thing going on with a DC system. Checked it all. I'm just rechecking all these and then we'll go inside and I'll show you what happened. Earlier today. Uh, we were cooking lunch and had the fantastic fan running, the some of the ceiling lights on, the, the stove running, water pump running because washing dishes, and range hood vent on, a couple other DC things on, and the, there was a fan here running in the AC system. We were plugged into shore power, but the last few days we've had some sporadic power surges on the power box out there, so the power's cut on and off and such. The symptoms were this. Everything shut down, and I went outside, and there was a weird blinking on the, the power box outside, so the, the RV park. That got restarted. It restarted everything in here, came inside. Then the DC system shut down, so all of our lights went off, all of our fans went off, but everything plugged in was still running, like our Dyson fan here was still running, something else was still running, so the AC system was working, but the DC system was not. I've had this issue before. If you recall back, the big, the giant big battery disconnect switch that we put in initially had a weird, the rubber seal in it was pinched in there weird from the manufacturing process and it caused an arc, which caused that thing to be bad. So that's been replaced. So that's where I started because it was a very exact same symptoms as that time. So I got my multimeter out and I checked hot wires all the way through. And then I get inside here into the DC distribution panel which is this big gray box in here. It has this cover on it says caution. I get in there and I get on this bus and I had I found out these things. So this wire in my rig is the hot wire coming off the battery. Then it goes through a 50 amp self-resetting fuse up to this bus bar. So the big brass bar you can see there, that's called a bus bar. And that powers this distribution bar which puts hot make everything else here hot so i had hot coming to this wire but i had no hot on this side or anything else nothing here nothing else here was hot so that tells me that this circuit breaker is bad or tripped at the moment and then i noticed a little bit of discoloration here so that thing has gotten pretty hot at some point which is what causes that fuse to break uh, break its circuit anyways when it gets hot it just stops working and then when it cools off it'll re work again so i replaced this fuse and tighten everything back down and now everything's working as advertised. What I genuinely believe has happened is uh, the vibrations of driving over time, a couple of those bolts, the, particularly the one right on the end there, the top one on the bus bar, had backed off just enough to cause a little bit of an arc and that's caused that thing to get hot, which is what caused that fuse to go bad. So that's what I believe the problem was. And we're also we received now. some new USB outlets. And I'm going to attempt to install them in our cabinet here. So this is a USB-C and a USB-A. I removed these initially when we took this whole cabinet system out to redo the wiring on the rig and put in the battery and inverter. And you can go back and watch the videos and watch Blair be scared to shock herself hooking these little things back up. It's a DC system. They're not um super powerful but we'll start with removing the cabinet get me a light so you can see in here what i've got going on i don't know how it's possible but cat hair gets everywhere and it's inside this drawer so you can see in here now the wires in the back 
on an airstream typically the big white wires are the ground wire and the other wires in this case brown are hot so i have on the end of them wagos that make them disconnecting and connecting really easy now my one not my one concern but a concern is well, these fit through that hole and I don't think they will. They sure will not. So I might have to do something else. All right, this is attempt number two at removing and replacing the USB plugs or the USB outlets on either side of our nightstand. The previous, the previous ones I ordered were a circular disc and kind of long, and I would have had to drill holes. They would have fit fine, but these are these sit flush. And it has a USB A and a USB C portion, so we're going to attempt to install these. And I'll have these on our a link down below, or you can just find them on our Amazon page. Pretty easy process. I have some Wagos on the end here, just super easy. You might find them throughout your Airstream. Just an easy way to connect and disconnect wires. So. We take those screws out of the side over here. Pops out pretty easy. Uh, this is what it is, just two wires. Hot and ground. Hopefully this one will fit almost in the exact same holes. True plug and play system. Didn't have to drill any new holes. Side number one done. Nice lit up, so let's test it out. That one works. Try USB-C. That one works too. So now we just got to pop the cover on. And we're all set. Blue light. And it works. So just put the cover on it. Pretty easy install. Took 13 minutes and 20 seconds. If you decide to do this for yours, I'll put these on Amazon and I'll also add some of those Wagos uh, clips if they have them on there too. But easy install, easy to do, and changes the game for charging devices in your bedroom. One simple concern I have for those is there's a blue light on it. So we'll see how bright that is when it gets dark out. So the new USB outlets are awesome, but the light at night is pretty bright. So I'm going to take a little bit of electrical tape here and cover up those spots. When I'm standing here with Russ in my own bedroom, we're, we're, uh, putting the receptacles in here for these little thumb screws to take, take these out. I did this in our old rig. We're soon going to go over to his rig and do the same thing. But just quickly, remove the four screws. you got to get you a, something to make the hole a little bigger. We're going to put these rib nuts in and then put the thumb screws in. It's a pretty quick process. I just want to remind everybody that this is a thing. Phil the Nolox guy sells this kit you can buy for the whole thing. I've not, I didn't buy the kit from him, but I just... Um, bought all the pieces I need to do this this work from Amazon so on our Amazon page you can find all the, the list of things you need and in this video I will put a link down below to every every individual part you need so four screws removed wear safety glasses when you do if you do any drilling up here because the shavings will get your eye I recommend starting kind of shallow I know I need to go four runs but I like to check it just to make sure so I still need to go one more. I just don't want the hole ever to be too big. That would be disastrous. That's that. Then you're gonna have this tool for these rib nuts. Basically, it compresses that, squeezes that down onto the metal where that's your receptacle for your thumb screw. This is the most time consuming piece right here. And not required, but I do recommend you put a little 
nylon washer on here because it helps the screw from backing out. So we have some of those. The washer goes on here. The first time you put these on, I always recommend go for a drive somewhere and you stop for gas, come inside and check. Because if they fall out, if they rattle out for some reason, they're going to go somewhere in a hole and you're not going to find them again. So, and these little thumb screws are not cheap. But you don't have to have a washer, I just recommend, because it does, the friction from the, the Teflon washer makes it hold in there better. So, but when you stop for gas the first time you put these in, when you've been driving, stop and go inside and check them all, make sure they're all so tight. But that's as easy as it is, getting that one done. Now, taking these down, you don't have to worry about a screwdriver and scratching your roof. You can just use your thumb hand to get them down and clean them off and put them right back in. So that's the purpose of it. What's happening over here? Just some <laughs> afternoon sits. Left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee, back straight, mouth shut, sir. <laughs> Ever went to Marine Corps boot camp, you will fully understand that statement. We are in Seneca, South Carolina, uh, hanging out with some friends and family at the Lake Kiwi, but came downtown for the, as John calls it, the strip and stroll. He read it wrong, but it's actually the sip and stroll. You sip wine, you get a little ticket, you can get some wine and just stroll around all the little vendors on the street here. Uh, pretty fun time, but Blair's about to go get her some free rocks. Yes. Because <laughs> Tanner... Our nephew, he always finds rocks. He said, that's a good rock, and puts it in his pocket. <laughs> so we found him some good rocks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go get Tanner a free rock. Why? Because I showed Aaron the sign, and she said, don't tempt him with a good time, but seriously <laughs> get him one. <laughs> I wrote on one that says, I like rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Are you sure? Actually, I This one? Yeah. I found three rocks, so I collected them for you. And here's another one. This one has a Bible verse on it, so we're going to have to look it up later so you can read it. I figured they could go with your rock collection. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me a doctor. I got my woods, my number one driver. I'm fall all the way to the fence. Yeah, right. Just wait. All right, Blair, how was your first golfing experience? I can only improve. <laughs> Yeah. How's it been? I made a comeback. I was in the lead for a brief period of time, and then I just took the lead. Aaron and Justin came back, and then you just took the lead. Just because I picked a different. Yeah. What what iron did you use? I used the used the three three chipper. I like it. It works well. Oh, no. Ah. 
Are you okay? Do you need to go back to Dennis and spend eight hundred more dollars? Whose ball entry? Yeah. Are you really okay? I wish I could have seen her when she chipped her tooth on the trail. New Hampshire. Yep. Blood, sweat, tears. Why did she have the tooth this morning? Tooth enamel <laughs> has been left on this stupid trail. Yeah. And it left this. me a big knot is going to be on her head later. Bumps and bruises. Why did she have the tooth? Playing foosball. I don't know how that happened. I don't happened. think it's chipped. I just think I need to watch it to make sure it doesn't turn, turn gray. <laughs> oh no. Dead tooth? Uh huh. How was your I first experience at Top Golf? It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. It's half off on Tuesdays, so I'm going to get one kid out of school early and he's going to get the other kid out of school yeah, early. We got nothing going on. We got no schedule. I'm Top sorry. Golf Tuesday. Top half price. Everyone, yes. I'm uh, opening this box for the first time today. We used Athletic Greens. They've re rebranded themselves to be named AG1. But I want to talk about this for a second. This is completely unsponsored. The company knows nothing about me. Um, I missed it the whole time we were hiking the Appalachian Trail in the months leading up to that. So we, we have them back now. But Athletic Greens, if you order the initial box, this is what's going to come in. A uh, big, big, beautiful box here. It says... You're going to need a smaller cabinet because you don't need as many things in your cabinet. Quick a few highlights about what's in AG1 is a multivitamin, a multimineral, prebiotic, probiotic, greens, superfood, stress, adaptogens, functional mushrooms, and antioxidants. What's not in there is dairy, gluten, pesticides, herbicides, GMOs, added sugar, egg, lactose, sucrose, and animal byproducts. So I take a multivitamin, I take fish oil, vitamin D, zinc, um, Probiotics, prebiotics. I got you know seven or eight bottles in there of all the things that uh, take up my cabinet space. So that's what this means. Your cabinet's about to get a lot smaller because once I'm done taking all those things, I will go back to drinking one of these shakes every day. So let's get into the box and see actually what's in here. Packaging is pretty and cool. New shaker bottles, which are really nice with a metal lid here. And I have a bag here. It's a scoop, of one scoop per day. It's all your vitamins and minerals you can need for a day, but it's in a scoop. And as a new customer, there are some other benefits that come with it. You can put them in this container instead of keeping them in the bag, and you can just scoop out of this every day, which is pretty cool. So your fridge is new friend. The best thing you can do for your monthly AG1 refill is a store and in a new canister as soon as it arrives because it contains live probiotics and whole food sourced ingredients, it must be refrigerated after opening. So when you open up your bag, you can pour it right in there and scoop it right out of there every day, put it in the fridge. Also part of it are individual travel packets. So if you're on the road traveling somewhere, you can have these to throw in your bag or throw in your gym bag or something like that if you're on the road away from home. So that's a cool, cool extra that comes with it. Got this real nice metal awesome branded scoop here, vitamin D3 and K2 support. From what I recall, it tastes fantastic. We haven't had it again in, in about a year, maybe it's something like that. We haven't had it for a year, but I thought it was going to be like one of these green, nasty things I've had in the past, but it was not very delicious. So as soon as we fire these up and get these washed, we'll get some AG1 in our bodies and I'll tell you what I think about it. About to have my morning AG1 here. Still just as good as I remember. It's like I can taste the green, I can taste the dirt, I can taste the, the the medicine. It's all kind of combined together, but it's it's good. We have continued to drink our AG1 every morning since we got them. Uh, we're on our second month now. It, I feel great. My cabinet is much less crowded because I don't have all those extra vitamins. And I feel that this is um, something that's nutritionally bioavailable so it, it absorbs well into the system and you drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach gets me started for the day before i go to the gym and i really enjoy it, it tastes great feels great very happy with the product uh, it's something you think you need in your life check out the website 
again, no affiliation from us, no discount codes or anything from us, but we'd really enjoy the product and think all of you out there might want to be better and better health. So, something to check out.